Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, <laughs> like, if you're confused, <laughs> that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Our right. shows are better. I if we, was off the cuff. <laughs> but this yeah. Is, yeah. Our shows are better if we don't have like a hard start. If we just yeah. start Sometimes, screwing around yeah. talking. Yeah. 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 What do you mean so, sometimes? So, no, no. Oh, yeah, I, wasn't, I wasn't saying sometimes. So anyway, back for another edition of the oh, show. Yeah, we Let's just get started. We yeah, got okay. uh, Nathan Piper. Well, we got fresh Gunny. off Gunny first. No, I'm yeah. not even doing that anymore. If we don't what? know the, if you don't know you guys by now, <laughs> special guest. You just yeah, special, special guest because you went. No, no. We go. Tom, we have. Tom, we're gonna no, be to no, part of the this. show. Part of a show is intro music or a solid intro, yeah, okay? okay? You I gotta grow the show. It's gotta be the routine. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the show. This is show number Gunny whatever. Madison. It doesn't matter. Gunny Gunny Madison, show. Grow the show. And then Joe I, Schmidt. Boom. Finger. And, and then, our special guest, Nathan Piper. There you Thanks, go. Thanks, Nathan. That's Thanks excellent. for being here. Hey, yeah. You've yeah. already started the show. <laughs> Just look at Tom. Tom's been dreaming of this to happen. Somebody take over his role, and we just did it. <laughs> hey, yes. Hey, you guys he's changing the form. Told, I you. told you this. You changing the it's format? Feeling. Yeah. He's feeling it. Yeah, he's feeling the it. Flow. You this flow is what I was talking about, man. You changing this little format? Yes. I changed it. I just changed it on the band. Yeah. yeah. No, I love it. Run with so, it. Run with it. So Nathan. we got Nathan fresh off the uh, run for a million championship. So what have you been doing since then? It's been a little while now. I mean, yeah, we've had a fraternity, a and we've been trying to get you on, but you've been booked full. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Been <laughs> we finally got, <laughs> finally got through to Nathan yeah. from his yeah. agent yeah. after 15 phone calls. Yeah, your yeah. publicist is it, tough to do. Publicist yeah. you and you they, after lunch this morning. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Just like every day. Maybe. <laughs> That's lucky every day. Yeah. What are you doing this afternoon? We right? have never yeah. scheduled really. Actually, we scheduled you maybe an hour or two earlier than, than normal. normal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it was before 1 o'clock, so we were way ahead of yeah. the game. Yeah. But uh, anyway, yeah. congrats Thanks for on the run for a million. Thank By you. the way, you and, I, you and I have talked a little bit before. That, that run was spectacular. Oh, thank you. Yeah, he was great. It was. Spe yeah, spectacular. I, well, I, for the people that don't know, I mean, who doesn't should, know? I think we should explain it like, you know, our audience is idiots. He was no, right. They just no, don't, they don't know. They don't know. Don't say idiots but, is a little weird. Nah, they yeah. have them. <laughs> <laughs> people that don't know they went the audience you showed a horse named patriot <laughs> the, yeah. there is no audience yeah. don't get yourself There's your God. mom's gonna watch this and that's <laughs> probably yeah. so i'm trying not to say i gotta limit my swear bonnie silva tells me i can't be no no effenheimers anymore so no. hey i guarantee you your children can watch this and they won't hear a bad word from me okay I, I put a I put a big stamp on it right there. Put a stamp on it. Yeah. You know, I like what well, you. The thing about that that raining for me is clear cut winner. Mm -hmm. I mean, they got it right, but anybody could have got that one right. I mean, it was that horse was just pure all the way through, and you know he'd been showing a lot, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he has. Did you save him at all this? I know you showed him at the at the Derby, but did you show him at the NRBC yeah, also? I, I showed him at the NRBC, and you know I've always kind of showed him <coughs> about three or four times every every year. So you know I don't over show him a year, but but yeah, he he we we, we did it. we had a bobble at the Derby, didn't he make the finals? So was he seven uh, this year? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's eight. But and uh, I mean I'm not gonna insult your horse. He he won. But three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars before the run for the million this year, but that Derby, he didn't even look good. Like I, I don't know. I'm not trying to insult him. I've seen that horse look fantastic, but I definitely thought, in my opinion, okay, that horse is done. And you know, running horses get done. They, they're done from you know. Sometimes they're just they, they don't do it anymore. And from to go from that to that run for the million run which is like one of the top five best runs I've ever seen in my whole life. Mm -hmm. uh, I just thought it was a magnificent and a welcoming, I don't know, I, I loved it. I mean, and it was, like Tom said, you were the clear-cut winner because it was top five run ever. I mean. And, man, what a what a group of horses and runs. I mean, that was that was exciting. Every run in there was exciting, huh? Yeah. I mean, it was mm -hmm. just crazy. From start to finish, yeah, yeah. From start no to finish, I, I mean, I thought if if they moved some of those runs around a little bit, some of them might have been scored a little bit different. I thought Billy was 
right off the bat, right off yes. the bat, very yeah, good for sure. And um, you know, but overall, uh, what a showcase yeah. for those horses, and what a great thing for the sport. And and, and your yeah. horse, I think the great ones, I think the great ones know, yeah. they know. You know what's funny? Monday, Monday that week, he was riding around, and I was like. You know what, I'd already been there one year, you know, and so I don't know why, but he knew Monday. I didn't know how he was going to do, you know. Yeah. I didn't know how I was going to end up, but I could feel he, he was special. He was. There was a difference. There you was a difference, difference in him that first, the whole week, but I, I felt it Monday when I got there. Dude, I just got run. goosebumps. Yeah, that's that. cool. Huh? Yeah. I just got goosebumps. Yeah, the special ones, no. No, you're right. Yeah. You're right. So go back. I don't know. I don't know your history with that horse. I'm sure Gunny does and Joe does, but I, know I don't. Everything. So. <laughs> <laughs> but you're here, so I'd rather ask you. Uh, I, I, what? I mean, if you get tired, just you want to take a break, just that, tap me in. Me and Gunny from the, from the same down south Texas, you know, ever since the kids together. So yep. He knows yeah. everything. Yeah, you, know? yeah. you, you, you guys look kind of like a before and after. <laughs> <laughs> before and after a trip to Daylight Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, sorry, yeah, I'm on so. a diet, by the way. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. No, no, you shouldn't be. But I yeah. am. Okay, it's okay. working. I yeah. think. I mean. But anyway, uh, wh where'd you get that horse? So uh, where'd you get paid for? So so John and Nancy raised him, and um, John and Nancy Teague. Yep, Toy on Ranch. They raised him, and so I started him. Had him as a two-year-old, three-year-old, and then. His three-year-old year, we had a, a bunch of really nice three-year-olds that year, and and John decided they wanted to go more towards the breeding in the, in part of it, and they wanted to sell, you know, the training horses or the show horses. And and, and um, not to interrupt, but Ann Anderman bred bred him, right? Well, they actually bought an embryo from me. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, so John and Nancy were responsible for the whole thing. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. And so, um, and so, boy, I I knew. It was like two or three weeks before the Tulsa Tulsa um, maturity, but I knew if I took him there, I was going to lose him, you know. And so I started thinking about, you know, trying to trying to figure out a way to keep him. And um, I had two three-year-olds with uh, Shannon and Herschel Reed already, but I called Miss Shannon up, and this is this is a neat story. She, I said, you know, I have this really nice three-year-old, and I, and I think he's special. And she owned Rough Spooks, and I said, he, he kind of reminds me of Rough Spook. And um, so she she said, well, I'm I'm wanting to downsize. You know, I'm not really looking for you, but I'm not. I don't do anything without praying praying about it. So let me pray about it. And I'll let you know. And she called me um, three days later and said, I want to I want to come see him. And I said, you bet. So she came and saw him, and she said can you just slope a circle each way? And I was like, well, I'll stop him and turn him. And she goes, no, I just want to see him lope a circle each way. And so I lope a circle each way, and we vetted him, and that was it. <laughs> That's pretty well, cool. Yeah. Well, if God told her to buy him, you can't go wrong. Amen. You can't argue with him. Amen. No. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's no. right. So she, uh, the downsizing stopped, you know, after that. No, I'm just yeah. kidding. <laughs> so you showed him in, in Tulsa? Yeah, so I showed him at Tulsa and he was good. Took him out to, as a three-year-old. He was a 19, I believe, in Tulsa. Took him to um, the uh, Best of the West. Wait. Sorry to interrupt again. You took him to Tulsa, marked a 19. How many people tried to buy him? <laughs> Even though you had him locked down, how many people tried to buy him? I don't know. That was a long time ago. Okay, you can't remember? No, I can't remember. Uh, was I one of them? I don't remember I that probably, either. I probably was. <laughs> I probably was. Tom probably was too. You you tried to buy him as a three-year-old, didn't you? No, probably. <laughs> Say nobody can remember. Yeah, nobody can remember. That's, okay, that's I'll a finish your story. Sorry. Yeah, so he was good out there and um, took him to the futurity and made the finals in the futurity. And, and he he had a nice run, um, but but he was just a little, I was a little conservative. And actually, old Terry Thompson, he came up to me, and he's, he, I saw him at lunch, and he's like, you know, you, you, wanna, you want me to tell you what's wrong with your run? And I said, yeah, you bet. So he just kind of helped me, um, you know, get him up to speed, sharpened me through the middle. You know, he said, don't go in there and set up so much. Just kind of with the judges out of it. And so... Um, Cause he was like 20th. I, I was a 220. I can't remember what he what he 
place, but he was 15th or 20th in the, which is wonderful, you know. I mean, anytime you're in the finals and, and taking home some of their money is great, but I knew there was more in there, and um, so Terry helped me and then, you know, went to the NRBC and tied with Jason there at the NRBC when he was four. Um, and that, that, then I got the confidence. It's like, okay, now, now he, he is, he is what I thought he was. Right. Once, uh, once we did that, so it, mo it almost started a rivalry with uh, Vintage Smoke because you guys <laughs> were, those two horses were paired together for the next few years. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it, they, you didn't talk about one with almost talking about the other. Yeah, comparing the two. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we tied at the <clears throat> Derby. Um, well, uh, I don't remember if it was that year. One year we were we both tied for third. I think it was that year. And then the next year came back and he was first, I was second. Yeah. So we were, yeah, we were, yeah. Yeah, you guys were battling it out, but uh, you put a exclamation point uh, at the end of his career. Is he, I assume, is he done now? Is he retired or you're not I sure yet? I don't think so. You know, oh, he, loves, he loves his job um, and and he loves to work. I, I mean, I, he wants, he's in the stall ready to go to work, you know, and so if, if I'm gonna, Hot off the presses, is he going to the qual, oh, is he we, going to the qualifier? We are entered for Arizona. Oh, All cool. right. Yeah. You know, yeah. you know what is cool about it, and I'm getting goosebumps again, is that yeah, horse has won $835,000 in the reigning pen. He could be a million dollar winner before this year's over. We could have a reigning horse that won a million dollars by himself. I mean that is nuts, isn't it? Yeah, it is nuts. I, and I think we're going to go. We're we're getting more and more. When you look at all these programs, you look, shoot, you you look at the NRBC. It's been in existence twenty something years, twenty two, twenty three years, something like that, and given away twenty four million dollars, and work to do all these things. And I think it's it's been a big part of change in the industry, making the Derby pay more, uh, making all these events pay more. <coughs> And then the hundred X comes in this year, right away. It's going to pay one hundred and fifty thousand to the winner of the. It has been advertised to pay one hundred and fifty thousand to the winner of the level four and a hundred to the winner of the level four non-pro. Yeah. And first year out of the box, and it's it's paying more than all the major events except for the fraternity. And uh, you know I, that's not it. We've obviously the run for millions kind of popped up now and there's so many more events where there's a lot of money to win yeah yeah for sure oh did you did you did you answer that <laughs> no <laughs> that was his phone actually yeah, oh I, I had to text someone though <laughs> i thought he was calling me. Yeah. <laughs> but no you're right all these different shows putting up all this money it's going to be it's easier to get to the yeah million. it's cool yeah well, it's, it's awesome well, i mean you also trained two of the coolest three-year-olds I've ever seen in my whole one, life. I don't, they're not going to know this about you, but I do. Okay. Yeah, I will. One of them's out of uh mare that I had, mare that I sold. Okay. Which, what was the horse's name? Oh, come on. <laughs> really? You're going to do that to me? <laughs> she was Bay. Yeah, she was Bay. Her one, name had, one, uh, one of them was Bay, and, and her, Dun, name, her, her name, name was Dunn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. Dunn in it. Wow. <laughs> two of them. You know, you said you didn't place that high in the fraternity on Patriot, but two of the coolest three-year-olds I've ever seen you have was Gunning for Chicks hmm. and In Like Flynn. You know, Casey did so well on In Like Flynn after you had him, but I'm not sure a lot of people even know that you showed him anymore. But yeah, man, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he was a show horse. For Those sure. were cool yeah, three-year-olds, yeah, man. Yeah. And that, that chick smoking gun that went over there. The full brother of yeah. Gunning mm -hmm. for Chicks. Yeah. He, was, he was a blast to show. Yeah, that mare, that mare, she popped out oh, yeah. several of those right in a row. And <laughs> yeah, done it by chick. Mm -hmm. I had the first one. <laughs> done it by chick. Yeah. Yeah. You Vaughn had the first Remini. one? I had the first run. Yeah, it was Von Remenick. Come on, oh. like 15,000 on her. Who owned her that bred her to Von Remenick? Frank, Frank Belay. Uh, yeah. And that was cool by the time. At the time, it was cool to breed so the yeah. What yeah. was cool was she won the non-pro fraternity and Von Remenick won the open, open fraternity that year. So that's right. He bought her. To breed the yeah. open, the non-pro to the open. Jury. Yeah, yeah. Did I buy her from Frank? Uh, I think so. I can't remember. I can't either. Because he had he had done it by chick, and they had Sandlin Spark, both of them at the same time. But I can't remember. 
I mean, must or have maybe, you sold her to Mark yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. early on. Yeah. yeah. I think you might have. Yeah. And then I remember there was, I was second in line on that mare, and she had colicked before before that and when that came out that she had colic the other people got out and, and then and then didn't really bother me yeah. and she to my knowledge never done it again and lived to be i don't know in her 20s yeah yeah, yeah. produced over 500 yeah yeah, yeah. great she's still spitting out babies yeah isn't she? she is yeah yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I, you know, we can all do the same thing, but if we had a little crystal ball, a little bit of hindsight, you know, the the mares that, I mean, I had that mare, I had done it for checks, I had... Sarah uh, Goes Hollywood. Sarah Goes Hollywood. Yeah. yeah all the mares. Done it, done it for checks is the is uh, the gray mare, right? Yeah. yeah. The yeah. million dollar yeah. producer yeah. mare. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, all those mares that just, but... Just, you're, just so you know, this is kind of how this show works: is we get you here and we all start talking, and then the last thirty minutes we talk about how good Tom is. <laughs> of course, <laughs> look at it's his show. That's it's his name on the deal, dude. Yeah, what do you think? I, I, sorry, what sorry, do you think? Dude, I, I shouldn't have said that. I feel like a jerk. Now. No, I like to apologize. <laughs> when do you think I pay you guys for? Yeah. yeah. No, it, and it, and it and it wasn't about that. I'm saying we can all look back and go, yeah. shit. If I'd have kept that one and that one, yeah. and and, I, and I'm honestly, it's just the opposite of that. It's like I didn't know. Yeah. yeah. You know, if yeah. I'd have known, wind her up, chick. I mean, if I'd have known all those mares passed through our hands, and if I was smarter, they, they'd all still be in my pasture. Yeah. But that's just not how it works. Sometimes hindsight's yeah, twenty twenty. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Got to make a living selling them at the time. Hundred yeah. <clears throat> percent, and none of us know that. It's like when we go to the legacy sale or the fraternity sale, the, those yearlin sales every year. You know, there's a couple of stars in there. You just don't know which ones they are. Yeah. So we're all out there, and and we all know that there's. That's what keeps us all going. That's why we all show up is because there's. We know they're in there, and it might be the one that costs. You know. Kate and I went through all those numbers. I don't know if I've told you this, but Kate and I year. went through all from the three-year-olds <coughs> last year that sold as yearlings. So it would have been two years ago, right? Yeah. So, well, three years ago now. But when we went through it last fall, the high money earner of all of those was the one Kate showed, and it sold for 7500 bucks. Yeah. So all as those, a year one. As a year one. Yeah, yeah, it didn't as a three year old, I bet. No. Yeah. But you know that I mean that's the that's the beauty of it. Yeah. Everybody can still play. Yeah. I mean there's the, you can find year after year after year that horse that plays at the top level and sells for a lot of money and trace them back. And there's there's a number of them that sold for ten thousand or less. <clears throat> less now because the market's changed some, right. but yeah. still. No, but what there's a time that you could have got them for not yeah. stupid money. Wasn't Little Joe like that? Yeah, he was yeah. six, yeah. six grains. Seven, seven yeah. thousand seven hundred. Yeah. 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 Do you, do you buy any yearlings and train them up? Do you own a lot of horses yourself? Or? Not, not a lot, but I try to have at least yeah. one or two a year. Yeah. 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 yeah, you just moved into your place too. You bought your own place. Yep. Yeah. How's that going? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of debt now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> did you start building your indoor yet? Did Patriot did <laughs> Patriot help that? No, I take that over the I spent that money about five years ago. So oh, I just okay. yeah, you know, that's, that's how it goes, yeah. right? Yeah. You're paying off Texas A and M still. Yeah, probably. Yeah. You didn't get any of that student loan forgiveness stuff? No, they didn't okay. forgive me. Well, I don't think anybody got it. Not yet. Do you, and you feel like those th that school that really helped you? You feel like no. it was worth it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we. So now, where's your place now? Um, I'm right behind Kyle, Pete Kyle's old place. It's it was uh, Gene Cunningham's. Oh yeah. Yeah, Tin Cup. Tin Farms. Cup Farm. Oh, it's, we love it. That's right. It's great. Yeah, you got the racetrack next yeah, door. Yeah, that's right. I hadn't been on there yet, but they keep yeah. it drug for me, so I'm good. Right I'm gonna get out there. So if you have one that yeah, runs right. off, you just open a gate. And say, yeah. go ahead. That's yeah. cool. That's right. Well, yeah, that place has been there a long time. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, we've added some stalls and fixed it up a little bit, but. We enjoy it. Are you going to put an indoor up? Yeah, I do. I want to put an indoor, but it's <laughs> it after this year's run for yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> Not to win. count our yeah. eggs yeah. before they're hatched, but. Yeah, right. <laughs> like I think. Uh -huh. Yeah, 
Um, yeah, I want to. I kind of, I, I want to do, I'm just going to do an outdoor track first, and, uh, or I've already done outdoor track, but I think I'm going to put like a limestone base in to make it right, and then, but shoot, to have an indoor right now, I'd have to have 45 head in training, and yeah. so I'm just going to kind of sit and see if prices go down. Yeah. Yeah, I don't good think they're going to. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're going to. You know, I, I, this is a little bit off the topic of horses, but, you know, they say in the, since the pandemic, of all the money that 60% of all the money that's ever been printed has been printed since since the pandemic, whether it's 50% or 60 whatever the number is. I mean, so, I don't think anything's ever going to get cheaper yeah, now. But so what you're saying is it was actually very smart for Nathan to go in debt when the time he did because the debt dollars are worth less now so to pay him back is easier well i don't know when did you buy He's your turning place? into an economics <laughs> yeah. this is oh, yeah, we talked about common core <laughs> cool yeah, right here we talked about it i said i went to a and i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> yeah, that's right well yeah. basically what i'm talking about is before the pandemic the dollar was worth more now it's worth less so to be in debt is actually a good thing because you have less debt to pay back. I think if you're a horse trainer, being in debt is a no life. It's just <laughs> normal. <laughs> yeah, it's just yeah. part of doing it. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Without it, I, but the thing is, I mean, how many acres did you buy up there? Uh, almost forty. Yeah, I mean, that's at some at some point in time, that's going to be your exit strategy. Yeah. And you it's know? Yeah. really close to three seventy seven, so you could road. see it being a subdivision someday. Yeah. yeah. No, it's not. It's far enough back to where you're yeah. off 377, but you're still close. Right there, yeah. You bet. No, yeah. it's per, it's great location. Yeah, yeah. There, yeah. there's a lot of. That's going to be the exit strategy for a lot of a lot of guys that have been around in this part of the area that own their own place, and it's going to be a great way to get out. Now, I don't know that it's always the only. It's like a, to me, it's like a forced savings. It's the yeah. best for most horse trainers because they don't have the discipline. To save the money, That's it's right. a pain in the ass because you got to fix stuff and you got to pay yeah. insurance, you got to pay interest, and you got to do all these things. But at the end of the day, you got to pay it to stay there. And then when you're, you know, 20 years down the road, it's worth six times what you paid for it yeah. and that's your it's funny that you said it like that because i started buying so many horses because i told somebody if the if the money is standing in my pasture then i wouldn't spend it on something stupid yeah uh, and if it's in savings the legacy sale comes up you know? if it's yeah. in savings yeah. i blow right. it if it's <laughs> in my checking account it's gone it's, yeah. it's just uh, you invest it yeah, yeah you're not it, it, it's not there anymore i spent it all yeah Can't, i now i have to save because a ball on horse. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But that's what you do. I mean, that's that's where you make your money. You've done a great job trading horses over the last 20 years. And I remember when you worked for me, it wasn't, you know, it was it was the Lincoln with the big stereo yeah. system. <laughs> the guy making a thousand bucks a month and putting in a five thousand dollar stereo system in his Lincoln, dude. Mark. But didn't you get the Lincoln from him? Yeah. <laughs> right? He owed you money, and then you well, tried to trade the car, right? so much, You know, I'm not I'm not to brag, but I won so much damn money. Instead yeah. of paying me, he just gave me a car. car. This is what happened. So you won a car. We tried to have I mean, a show. I'm, not, I'm not brushing no dirt off yeah. my shoulders or nothing. We tried to have a show, and it always turns into kind of talking to me. So I mean, great back in the day. I mean, I'm you not... Know. I'm not trying to brag. Back in '82, I won a car. <laughs> but I'm not trying to say nothing. But I used to be a pretty big deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just ask me. That's uh, funny. Yeah. yeah. So no, Gunny got a lot better about where he where he put his money. Yeah, he's trading and swapping, and we've always we've done a few deals together and done well. And I know you're buying some horses, and it's it, it is such a good time. I didn't get in this business because there was any money in it, and these guys, no, none of us did. No, none of us did because there was no money in it. No. It was just, it was loving that, and Gunny couldn't do anything else. It's not like he had a choice. <laughs> That's right. Gunny was rotting away over uh, in Germany. He is so, oh, that's right. Right. so that's right. He, he is so wrong. I could do anything I want. He was, I am smart right. as a whip. I'm sharp as a tack. He was I can rocking do anything away I want over to. in Germany. I promise yeah. you, I do and anything I want to. 
and I <laughs> begging for a job. I so, can do anything I want to besides be a freaking ballerina or an ice skater, okay? Yeah. Beyond, I can do anything besides those two things. Uh, but, you know, anyway. Uh, okay, let's talk about Nathan, my character. Yeah, you could have been a plumber. Gunny could have been a plumber. <laughs> That's the thing that he was, he was my go-to when I, when I was working over there at... Uh, it had a learning curve, just like Rain, though, because the first time he asked me to turn the water off on his place... I unscrewed a bolt that ties into the main water line. So I had water shooting up 30 feet. And I called Tom and I said, I think I turned the wrong lever. <laughs> I had to have somebody from the city come out and shut the water <laughs> off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. <clears throat> no, but that's what you learn when you're a assistant yeah. trainer. You and learn now you could plumbing. be a plumber. Yeah, yeah. now you could you know? be a plumber. I have a PhD yeah. in it. Just yeah. think of how much that's helping you with your own place now. Dude, yeah, absolutely. Not, dude, I bought 10 half-inch couplers, elbows, and 10 pieces of 10-foot Schedule 40 PVC today. Three-quarter three inch? No, oh, half-inch. Half-inch. That's all half-inch. Yeah, See, so I bought three-quarter Just to have it around, or did you actually need it? No, we're rebuilding the stalls, man. i got to put oh, new water waters in, in. Yeah. new water lines. You don't do oh. pets. No, we're not, not do doing pecs. No, we're not oh, doing the pecs. Dude, I think you got to do pecs. No, we're not doing pecs. The pecs is the wave of the future. The pecs is the wave of the future, but the connectors fail. If they're and it's so, the connectors fail, and it's so easy to go. Yeah. Done. Yeah. I know you pecs is glue. Good. No, I glued it. Okay. What and weigh in on this? You got your own place. Oh, yeah. yeah. You going? Do you know I'm, anything going... about plumbing? Oh yeah, I do yeah. now. Do you do <laughs> pecs or do you do PVC? Oh, old school. PVC. Yeah. He don't know how to sweat copper, I bet. No. Well, no, not sweating co copper. Not going that far back. I mean, You're not going that. I'm, but I'm saying the pecs. Nah, I, I, mean, think, I, I think pecs is all right. I can Noe do likes pecs. So I'm going with Noe. Yeah, Noe's yeah. smart. Yeah, of course. I would always go. Noe is, Noe is uh, for anybody that doesn't know, Noe is my barn manager, and he is He's the best. top of the line. Yeah. Yeah. No, top I had a 60-year-old steel pipe last night, water line, about 7 o'clock. Uh, yeah. That's always yeah. fun. So that was good. That I was had good a water fun. heater blow up above one of my guy's apartments. Oh, nice. Last night at 4 o'clock. So I stomped around angry for about 30 minutes before I could actually make a phone call. Before I could turn the water off and make yeah, a phone, phone call. call. You know, because some good old-fashioned mad stomping fixes a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Makes yeah. you process what you need to do. Yeah. It helps you put the... PVC together easier. Yeah. Yeah, that's why we got it done. So you got 40 acres, how many stalls you got? Uh, 40. Keep them full? Yeah. That's the business. Yeah. 40 yeah, horses. Probably. Yeah. So five more stalls and you could have put up an indoor arena. Yeah. Probably. Hey, it was supposed to be about 32 stalls and, you know, it just keeps... You can't say no to people. It is hard to say no, isn't it? Yeah. It is hard to say no. Well, it's really hard because you never know when it's going to go the other way. I mean, yeah. probably all of us in here at one point in time were like, I, you know, Scrapping to make a living sure. and fighting for horses and all of that. For so, sure. yeah, it's hard. It's hard for me to say no, too. I mean, uh, we're riding. Shoot, we got 160 stalls. They're all full. And when somebody calls my office and they want to bring another one, I just, hey, we'll make room. One of mine goes out in a pen somewhere. Yeah. And, I mean, yeah. it's hard not to. We're riding 125 Absolutely. head right now, and it's hard to say no. Yeah. Yeah. And all of your horses are primarily focused on uh, fraternity and derby. Do you have a bunch of non-pros? Do you have sale horses? Or what, what is it? Uh, probably most, a lot of two-year-olds and three-year-olds. I've got to try a, to develop to fraternity horses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I've got a, a handful of non-pros too, um, but I'd say most of them are two and three-year-olds. Are you taking more non-pros? Sure. It's hard to say no. Okay. I just yeah. <laughs> just so everybody knows. Just yeah. so everybody he knows, Nathan Piper is available. Uh, his <laughs> phone number is 
I don't remember the rest of it. I was about it. to say, it's pretty impressive. Yeah, I was going to yeah, say, yeah, you know, you I don't, don't, that impressive, yeah. so. don't remember the rest of it, yeah. and probably shouldn't give it out on, you know, public. We Why can, not? He well, advertises it's it all, all over. Facebook. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. You just, it's on your Facebook you can page? Google, you can Google that these that days. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. No, don't put your... Don't put your birthday on Facebook. No, yeah, I've so learned that. Yeah. Or anything. Yeah. Why not your social security? <laughs> yeah, no, do that. Do I, that. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I, I put my social on there. It got me 16 houses all over the country. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how they got approved, but I got to pay for it. <laughs> but for the people out there that don't know your history, how how'd you get started? Well, yeah, wait, my my parents didn't know anything about. Um, about horses my sister wanted a pony you know and so we started showing in 4-H and and um, you know trail and pleasure of course it was a lot different when I started all back then but then I got a, a rainer in um, when I was 15 a son of dry dock and I think he I'm pretty sure Sam Smith won the first go in 1983 of the futurity and then I think that thing lapped the pin the second go <laughs> really and I got him when he was like 15 or so and um did he ever lap the pen with you yes yeah, sweet yeah. so it, it, it wasn't you know wasn't going. we you know. need that on the bloopers uh, yeah fine yeah. you have that tape maybe Ooh, Sam Smith be on does. Tape. It's, i'm sure it's on a vhs somewhere but i, I don't know you have to yeah. talk to walt Berry. well and i just want to i want to go back for one second for anybody i did say no to ah we're really full <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Put you on the list. I want to be happy. You are yeah. next. If a <laughs> first opportunity, you're what so, he meant yeah, to say right. was all the parents that had his horses in it were full. full. So yeah, there was no right. more room for him to manage you in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he I is just, very accommodating. I just want to clear that clear up. Clear that up. <laughs> Yeah. Don't want to offend anybody there. I yeah. actually yeah. asked Tom if I could bring one over there a couple days ago, and he told me no, and I feel no like I'm a great friend. So mm -hmm. if he tells me good no, friend. he tells you no. Yeah. Good friend. I feel so, like I'm a great yeah. friend. He's a pretty yeah. good friend. Yeah. Well, I'm, 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 if I'm only a good friend, it's because I lie to you and tell you what you want to hear half the time. <laughs> yeah. Joe's a great friend. He tells you like yeah. it is. He tells yeah. you the truth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So, uh, all right, back to back to Nate. Okay, yeah, back to fifteen Nathan. years old. We did get Sam Smith horse. Yep, uh, lap the pin, lap the pin. Got had some success. With, learned a lot. Learned a lot. Yeah. Yep. Taught taught you that you like raining, so yeah. you wanted to go work for. Awesome. Todd Summers. Yeah. 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 <laughs> How much grass did you mow at Todd Summers? Please tell Quite me. Quite a bit. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> and did you ever cut it too short to where he yelled at you? Cause he's done that before. No, because he Has probably he? had that more set just right. <laughs> you know what was the great thing about working for Todd is, is this man right here initiated me into the reigning community. You, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you want to move over a seat and me to put Joe down here, cause you want to slap him for setting up with that, <laughs> no, I will. No. Oh no, no, that's huh? right. Yeah, old Joe, back when we had barn phones, nobody knows what a yeah, barn phone is Yeah, that's right. We had the landline. We had a landline. In the office there at Todd's. Todd's. They, yeah. Todd's. They, had a, they had a barn phone in the, in the you tire. You didn't room. work at Todd's. No, no I, was I was across the street at Casey's. Casey's at Casey's, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. You guys used to talk on the landline phones from Todd's to Casey's? Well, no. What would happen is I'd have to answer, you know, write down all the messages. You know, this is summer's performance horses. Yeah, you know. and you had this summer performance horses. Yeah. I have a college yeah. degree, so I can say this is it, right? Yeah. College well, I didn't degree. Have a college degree that time. Oh, okay. I, I left college before I finished. You left college yeah. for Todd Summers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was hot then. We are pumping his ego right now. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Okay, finish your story. So, and then <clears throat> I get this call from this guy that tells me, um, I can't remember what you told me. What was the story? I don't know. It's multiple. One of them was that I, I had you had this Skipper W. Impressive bred horse that <laughs> you wanted me to train, not Todd, but me, and you know. Uh, I don't remember that. I didn't. I didn't fall for that one. I think the one I fell for was was um, somehow the horse got hurt, had, had kind of hit its head or something, and, and it swelled up, and oh, then that's right. Yeah. And then you called up and was like, "Hey, I'm I'm owner of that horse, and I heard you hit him with a bat." <laughs> I'm like, no, sir, no, I'm not. I mean, he was, I just reeling me in. I was, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Joe, Joe is one, the one that called and said, uh, is this a summer's performance? Horse? Yeah, well, I got this horse. I need him to perform real well. Okay. I want him to carry this flag. I want him to do these tricks. Okay. 
Well, well, and didn't you? I did you? that to Todd. I, I did oh. that. I called Todd because you call Todd at two in the morning and he's answering <laughs> Summer's <laughs> performance yeah. sources. Yeah. You know, so I'm like, hey, I'm Jim McGill, cut out. I got this mare. She's a she's a Ducks holiday Ducks prescription. You know, and Joe Schmidt, Casey, they said you were good with those type of horses, and I just needed a quick tune up. And he's like. No, you know, only do pleasure and raining, sir. And I'm like, no, come on, only a few days. You know, a couple weeks, you just turn up for that keyhole race, and I'll be good to go. And he's like, trying to be so nice and professional. He's like, well, no, sir, we don't really have any room. I'm like, no, nah, come on, just a little bitch. You got great mare. My best mare I've ever had. And then finally, like, no, it's just Joe. And he goes, God damn it. He's freaked out. Got all mad. But yeah, because I told you, you never got that I, I didn't get mad. I was like, oh, thank God. Yeah, because I think I told him, I go, yeah, Tom said that you hurt my horse. That's I got, are you going to have to pay this vet bill? He goes, no, no, sir. I'm, I didn't do that. I swear. I was like, I go, well, what the hell happened? He goes, you're oh, well, I, I don't water. know what happened, sir. <laughs> you know, I'm like, somebody's paying for it, God darn it. <laughs> no, is, sir, I swear. It wasn't me. This it wasn't is great. Me. Yeah. Isn't oh, it? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, that's uh, funny. I was like, whew. Well, hey, yeah. Great answer. Awesome. Yeah. Don't know. Yeah, it don't was. know. It was yeah. like, I don't know what you happened. Passed. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever yeah. the test was, yeah. you passed. I don't right. know. I ain't okay. no fool. <laughs> yeah. Before we get off the Todd Summer yeah, subject, awesome. I also thought at the time that his help had to pack his underwear for him. Did you ever have to go into his house and pack any clothing for him? No, I can't say that. Ever. Oh, that's just a rumor then. Oh, yeah, thank God. No, rumor. I think that's a little extreme. Well, yeah. I, 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 I don't know. know where that came from. It came yeah, from Maverick. I, had, I hadn't heard that one. It came from Maverick. No. From where? Know. Maverick. He would know. Did Maverick work for him? No, no. he worked for Casey. Yeah, he worked they for were Casey. close. You know, they were right across the street. Todd yeah. used to go there and ride. Oh yeah. Well, I don't know how that would make you understand if you had to pack his underwear. No, it's just a story that we talked about. No, I bet we Kelly did. Kelly, Kelly. pack my underwear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take uh, care of them. We cats. gotta have Kelly, Todd. 12, 12. You know what? We gotta have Todd back in the yes. show next week. I love Todd. Summers. Next week, yes. we'll have Todd, Todd Summers is the best. I love Todd Summers yeah. as much as anybody for. You know, not okay. all day. I'm not saying I want to <laughs> spend a week. All right, all right, change the Okay, so he worked for Todd. Mowing grass at Todd's. How was that? That was great. Yeah. I still mow grass, so So you got got your broke. Got your broke to it. I got a PhD. Got your PhD in cutting grass. And it wasn't even a zero turn. It was just a little track. They didn't have a zero turn back then. Yeah, no, that's right. We didn't have one of those. Yeah. I got my PhD in plumbing. You got yours in mowing. Yeah. That's right. No, and then, and I remember, didn't didn't Grandpa work for you guys? That one old Mexican guy, and Todd, yeah. Todd had a bin, like it was a trash bin, and it was this high. And they had like a two by six going up, and it was the ricketyest thing, and they had Grandpa, who was, this guy was old. Yep. And he'd have to push this single tire wheelbarrow up there. And it was, was not even close to OSHA approved, I'm telling you. And this ramp wasn't made well. Like, uh, Todd did not spend any money on this ramp. Of course, we you can know. see Todd not spending any money oh, on man. that stuff. It was awesome. <laughs> That was a good guy. Uh, yeah, too. Grandpa we, was awesome. We'd, we'd trade lunch. He was a good guy. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah he, he did. He, he made his cook. own tortillas. Yeah, yeah. Oh. no, he was a pretty good guy. But yeah. Yeah. Well, What happened after that? You moved to... How, how'd you get this deep into rainy? Because we know so you, you So you grass. never graduated from college? I did go back. <clears throat> after, after, after Todd's? After Todd's, yeah. I, went yeah. Back. I only had one class. It was technical writing. I always say, you know, Aggies don't know how to read or write, so how could I pass technical writing? But or, or, Anyway, I don't know. How so to you write. worked at Todd's and then thought, no, nah, this horse training stuff, no, I need a college degree, <laughs> right? <laughs> no. Oh. No, um, Gene's probably the one that convinced me I better get my degree so your wife yep did yeah. you when you worked at Todd's though but you you actually rode and did all that you rode two-year-olds and stuff yep yeah because before Gunny came to work for me he just got to lead the horses mostly <laughs> he was he worked for Harper and mostly just got is that right am yeah. I right I swept the alleyway and saddled horses and got yeah. yelled at he got to lead the horses what I get yelled. yelled at for everything <laughs> What did I do wrong? I have no idea. I have no idea. I just knew I did it wrong. Now uh, this is the face of unresolved trauma. Yeah. <laughs> right there. All oh, this. See, yeah. <laughs> see how his expression changed? Yeah. Yeah. Stop yeah. hitting me! 
<laughs> PTSD right there. Yeah. 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 And, but the beauty of that story is it, it was working for Harper Connor at the point, at that point in time. Yeah. And now he and Harper are buds and he's rode Harper's non pro horses for he's got them ready for him here. Yeah. 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 We're good Full friends. circle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> circle of life. Yeah. Full circle. Worm flooring systems. Never lift heavy mats again. Finally, a permanent solution to a problem that horse and livestock owners have dealt with for years. The worm flooring system completely seals your trailer floor and provides a padded, slip-resistant surface that's impervious to liquids and eliminates the need for rubber mats. This unbelievable product will not crack or chip like spray-on liners. It's excellent for stalls, aisleways in your barn, and wash stalls. For pickup truck beds, the worm system provides a non-slip surface where everything stays where you put it. Worm is different from other rubber floors because it's non-porous. Worm flooring products do not allow anything through it. It's slip resistant, textured, cushioned, permanent, seamless, durable, and comes in many colors that you can mix and match. For more information or a dealer near you, go to wormflooring.com or call 800-350-7564. So, yeah, sorry. so, so, um, from uh, Todd's, you went to train horses on your own. I went, yeah, I went to train horses for my own uh, down in Madisonville. Um, good friends with the Cahills, train all around horses, and, and, um, yeah, just kind of trying to figure out what to do, and, and, um, ended up buying a little place down there, 12 acres, and, you know, had a lot of non pros, and, Hitting the Katy circuit and yep. the Texas Reining Horse Association down there, and um, and actually that started where, your business from the ground up, really, because it was yeah. mostly just non-pro stuff, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, it, you know, in the beginning, it's anything, mm -hmm. any kind of horse, just trying to make it reining specific. But and did you ride with the Cahill summer? Oh yeah, a lot. Nancy, yeah, yeah, and Nancy Cahill's good as anybody. Oh, yeah, ever, like a great horsewoman. Yeah, huh? we were next next door neighbors, so yeah ride with them all the time and yeah it's such an education down there um for sure and um yeah, i had some nice horses but um and actually i got uh, miss low attitude down there so that was neat she was my first one to make the level four finals in the derby but um when i moved up here in 09 boy is it amazing the difference of horsepower and just you know it just changed the the career for sure but, um i mean not to interrupt you again but do you know that do you know, I worked for Tom when he had the opportunity to buy Miss Little Attitude. And do you know who passed on her? Tom McCutcheon did. You remember that, Tom? I do. Was that while he was selling those other good ones? Oh, I probably. Do. Probably. <laughs> I do. And then Craig bought her, didn't he? Yeah, Craig bought yeah. her. Yeah. And then Craig and I went over to the World Championships, I remember, in, yeah. in Sweden. Yeah. And that was fun. Man, I'll never if you forget had a that. crystal ball with that in there, too. Huh? Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah, for sure. But talk about two good mares. You, the two mares the U.S. sent over there, the U.S. sent two riders over. They sent me and Craig, and Craig took that mare. Yeah. And I took Darlin's Not Painted. Oh, wow. Yeah. Talk about two That's mares that are awesome. Yeah. Both yeah. probably, I don't know how much Little Miss Attitude's produced, but Darlin's produced over 500,000. Yeah, probably. she's about the same. Probably yeah. the same. Yeah. Two great mares and went over. That was so, Craig and I had a blast over there because, uh, all those guys, Bernard, all those guys were, they were winning world titles every year and and we took our two little old mares over there and ended up first and second. I marked like a 29 and a 29 and a half and Craig was like a 28 and 27, mm -hmm. something cool. like that. That's and awesome. Those mares were first and second over there. So, yeah, it was, yeah. it was big fun. Two great mares. <clears throat> yes, I did pass on her and, and wish I wouldn't have, that's, but that's another one, you know? Yeah. And that was the first first mare that you had that was yeah, open finals first nice yeah first yeah. open finals first first sure enough raining yeah that's cool horse. did i try her though did i did i ride her i don't remember i i don't think i did i think i don't i don't what did i i don't think you did yeah i think i talked you out of it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah probably ah oh, you know you're a skatey stop and you know you don't want that man oh. Yeah, uh, you probably did. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> you are my go to. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, you're good for We realized what a mistake that was. Yeah, yeah. Well, how much, you want to know how much money he's cost me over the years? No telling. Psh, no telling. That's why he's a good friend. Talk to him about that. <laughs> no, no, exactly. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. <laughs>
Thought Joe was, hasn't made me any money, but he hasn't cost, cost me any yeah, money. That's why he's a great, he's a great friend. Great friend. Yeah. 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 Tells you a treat. What? Yeah. How, can I make it up in the future by making you a lot of money? <laughs> you made Ooh. me a lot of money. We partnered on a horse at the you Futurity made me a lot this of year. Money. We're great friends already. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We bought a horse at the Futurity sale this year. Me and Gunny and Chapel and Cade. I mean, fifteen hundred dollars. Perfect partners. Yes. Perfect partners. Hey, hey anytime there's profit. It's yeah. a good thing. And how many fingers did you lift to do that? Mm. One. He did not even. I no. didn't even bid. He did didn't I even bid. bid. Oh, and none. he didn't even write the check to pay for half. I had the profit <laughs> in the mail before he paid for his part. You're welcome. A quarter. Yes. A quarter. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even pay for a quarter. It was me and Kay. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. When when we the got fourth. The, when we got the check, Chappie gave us the check and and. Cade split it, but he only rate we checked for fifteen hundred. His was much bigger. I said, "Why do you get all that money and I only get this money?" Chapel says, "Because you're the only one that didn't pay for your quarter." Oh, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. our last perfect partner horse, we give fifteen thousand for, and we sold him for sixty-five. So we made a lot of money on that perfect mm -hmm. partner horse. And well, well, hey, hey, we're hundred percent in the profit zone. Yeah, hey, there you go. and you know what? If I keep that rolling for you, you're gonna be a great friend to me. We're I'm gonna, gonna be, be better friends. <laughs> we're gonna be better. For, it's gonna, it can go nowhere but up. Yep. Uh, this is so great, you guys doing this. Yeah, yeah. the the yeah. emotion that you have going back and forth. Well, you know yeah. what it is? It's, it's this new setup. I was gonna say, okay. see each other. I don't yeah. even it's, see it, yeah. these it's two awesome. guys anymore. Yeah. You it's, got it. It's you gotta, just, you gotta admit this is good. Yeah, huh? No. The the flow. You gotta admit it's good. Yeah, I feel better. Just about like it. said, Chelsea, this, who thought of it? This too. It was, I, it was definitely I, Chelsea's idea. You and Joe. Yeah, yeah. 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 Joe, I got to talk you. about Joe. I yeah. got. You don't get credit, Joe. <laughs> no, Nathan, you're a great friend. They're so, Nathan, they're so full of shit. I got the text message that Joe said we need a new format, not Tom. Yeah, yeah. because I didn't want to be bitchy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can, can you say yeah. that on, on our show? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think so. so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. I'm not saying somebody's bitchy. I said I didn't want to be bitchy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, so, so, Nathan moved. Nathan <coughs> was down in Madisonville. Oh, yeah. We get distracted That's a lot here. So. Great mayor. What made you come back up this way? Oh, um, you know, just, just wanting to be better, wanting to... Wanting to um, be more in the in the mix with everybody up here. Yeah, well, yeah, and and one I had just an outside track, and so and I, actually I remember it was NRBC, and it had first rain down there, you know, and it's humid down there anyway, and it rained for two or three weeks for the NRBC, and I had three I had three pretty nice mares. One of them was Miss Latitude at a Chrome. I can't remember the third one. Um, well, the Chrome was, you didn't need to ride; they train themselves. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. Okay, continue. <laughs> okay, and um, I think it was an 18 to make the three finals and um, or intermediate, and I was uh, 17 and a half, 17 and a half, and a 17. You know? oh. And I was like, and it had just ran. I was like, I'm ready to do something different. And so we, we came up to Skyline and, and uh, worked there for nine years, and then worked at Toy On for a couple years, and then. Did you sell your place to move up north? Yep. Or did, yep. yep. I did. I, I put it on the market. I was. You were ready. I didn't want to lease it, you know, yep. and somebody else tear it up because we had bought it and fixed it up, and we really enjoyed it down there, and it was quiet and had a great group of non pros, and TRHA was so strong at that time back then. And it's not really anymore. No, it's no. a shame. Yeah, I think they're trying to build it back, but it definitely went through a yeah. low spell. So. How do you feel about the NRBC moving to Tulsa? You know, um, and you're I not going to hurt my feelings. I, I one think way it's or a good thing, except for me personally. That I mean, I was 12 years old, 15 years old, showing down in Katy. Right. So, so for yeah. me, there's a little more of an attachment to Katy. I grew up there, so there's an attachment yeah, for me for you too. Yeah. So, like you know, when I did tie Jason in 19, I mean, that was like this. It was special to me because I mean, I remember my dad hauling me down there and showing in a quarter horse class. College Station about an hour, hour and a half away. Going home, coming back the next day to show again and, you know, watching the last person go because we didn't want to get a hotel. But, you know, we just had good times going down right. there. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's a lot of good memories there. We yeah. had a lot of fun. I mean, that's the best yeah. horse show there but, was. But Tulsa's yeah. a great place. I mean, I think yeah. it's it, it's gonna it's already been there before and it flourishes and flourish there too. But yeah, yeah. I, I and I can tell you, me personally, I can't speak for everybody, but I wasn't. Uh, I love I, I love Katie. I mean, yeah. I wasn't. I didn't want to move. We didn't want to move it, or I didn't. I wasn't for moving it to Tulsa, except for we just outgrew Katie. Yeah, yeah. You know, it just got too hard. We had stalls in every Everywhere. corner of that place, and the the electricity couldn't handle the fans. <laughs> and I mean, it was just. Well, there, there's so many great reasons to move it to Tulsa. Yeah. I mean, better facility. Better stalls. Different. More facility. More facility. Better facility. Okay. Back yeah. Yeah. Different facility, yeah. bigger facility. Yes. yes. I, mean, I did love the outdoorsy yes. aspect of going to Katy. Yep. Going and bringing your three-year-olds and not having to ride them inside, riding them out on... You know, you could ride them on those hunter jumper tracks when they were soaking wet. You could just go lope them around. Yep. Uh, no, but like you're saying, it's the only place we go that's not totally inside it's yeah. half inside half yeah. not yeah, yeah that, that's no the part doubt. that i miss yeah me too and tulsa's kind of a concrete jungle so we're not yeah. going to really have that you know you're not going to have that uh right up the road kind of go to right outside kind of feel you're gonna yeah kind of <clears throat> we're not gonna miss the rain though no you know yeah. but it's a little bit something. sad for me yeah, yeah. thinking because there's so many memories there yeah, oh, yeah. i yeah. mean I mean, I I won it there. Yeah. I won the NRBC there, and there's a ton of memories there. And and Gunny and I, we had both had three in the finals there. Yeah. When you worked for me, we yeah. had six head in the finals. Mandy and, had three head. We had a glass for every freaking entry. Yeah, yeah. We kill. I mean, That's we've awesome. got a lot of fantastic memories. And when the party used to be upstairs, and we were <laughs> we were all signing boobies. Remember that, Gunny? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I remember driving a car in the indoor ring. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there was all kinds of trouble down there. Yeah. Todd but, Bergen singing, I'm too sexy for my clothes and taking the shirt off. Yeah, we had all kinds of crazy mm, stuff going on. That. Yeah, I don't remember yeah. that either. But okay. That would be a girl that would remember oh, yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, there's a lot of great memories down there. Yeah. And, um, you know, I mean, it's when it's still... When I like and it's a right different now, venue. It's a different venue too. So a right now, when I think about the NRBC, the first thing in my head is Katie, and then I go, "Oh no, we're going." Yeah, yeah. It's it's gonna take a couple of years yeah, to, change, yeah. and it's gonna be. And I know, like Gunny grew up down there, so and and you, and it's gonna be weird for some people, but I think it was a good overall. I think more people are gonna be happy. Than sad. Well, then you got to keep growing. Yeah, <clears throat> you know, for sure. You got to keep growing. For sure. That place was maxed out at 1,200 stalls, like m like stalls everywhere at yeah. 1,200 stalls, and I think we'll have 1,500 stalls yeah. at Tulsa. Yeah, that's it's, awesome. It's 10 hours closer for a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're right, man. When it rain, it would rain. Yeah, it yeah. would come. And down. remember, we used to have the stalls down there in the front. Oh, yeah. You know, and they had that arena church. way down yeah. there. And I remember, like, you'd start walking down there and then it would downpour. You'd be stuck walking a quarter mile in that rain. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it knows how to rain down there for sure. And then uh, now you, I mean, you leased all those places and you want, you're famous now. You want everything. You've won a million dollars. I mean, you haven't won the fraternity, but you've been third or fourth twice been close. Won the run for the million. Now what? Now what are you doing? You're going to show Patriot again, but just, you got good three-year-olds? What's yeah, going on? Yeah, just keep riding. You just go home and ride Keep riding that. in your outdoor until you go to the NRBC and you get mad. <laughs> and you look at me and you go, got to have indoor. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, so where do you go ride now when, it, when it's raining? Um, so I have a little indoor, which is nice. It's a little 80 by 180, and, and so... Oh, that's big enough. Yeah, that's yeah, easy. It's, it's nice. It works well, but if... I'll go, I'll go <coughs> hang out with Matthew or somebody if I want to... Matthew know. Baton. And it's it's been... It's been pretty... I mean, I'm not in there. I'm not... It, just lately that it's been a little wetter, I've been in there more than normal. But you know my place is closer to you than Matthew's. You're welcome to come there. Oh, good. I'm there. Yeah. See you tomorrow morning. 
<laughs> what time? <laughs> seven. No, I gotta go not to, too early. I gotta go to the doctor at seven thirty. That's no problem. I mean, I don't have but to you see won't be you. be there. So I won't it doesn't be there. Matter, right? I won't okay. be there. So okay. you make yourself at home. <clears throat> I'll drag for you. You don't have to. They they're trained. Okay. Well, how big how big is your arena? One twenty five by two fifty. Doctor, Doctor Pepper. <laughs> no, I gotta go get my back, back injected. injected. Oh yeah. PRP tomorrow. Therapy. Feel great since I have my back injected. Be you look faster. Great. You look great. You and I went golfing the other day, and we played Cade and one of his stupid friends, <laughs> and uh, we did amazing. Or one of his friends that is stupid. Yes. Doesn't it work better if you put the adjective after the noun? Yeah. Don't one you? Of I mean, friends that's I'm, stupid. I'm, yeah. It just seems less offensive if you say mm-hmm. his friend that is stupid rather than his stupid friend. I did that some... seems a little bit too personal. Yes, I think you're right. Yeah. I have actually seen studies on that, <laughs> and I think you're right. Yeah. If you say actually his friend that is stupid, yeah. it's less offensive. And he's very nice. Yeah, he's very nice. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> no, he's he is amazing friend. <clears throat> he's amazing friend to Cade. Yeah. And he's very witty and, and bright and smart. And oh, that, he's Jordan. one that went snowboarding for the first time. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And thought he could do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never been on the snow before. Yeah. Snowboarding's easy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Kate, Kate sent me the video of him walking down the slope. Yeah. <laughs> to, <laughs> yes, he said that's, that's the guy. guy. Yeah. yeah. D, D1 football scholarship. Yep. Yeah, that's Big awesome. time good athlete. Hits the ball. 270. Longer. 300 yeah 300 300 and I popped the freaking hernia to hit it 190 fudge yeah. don't it pisses me off how I don't hit the ball far do you play golf Nathan no uh, you, do anything? you could do anything for fun other than ride no I mean, you, got, you got kids so when you I was all that stuff got a family when yeah. I was a kid my you know my mom wanted me to play golf so go down the country club and take lessons and after a couple of years, the golf pro there told my mom to quit wasting her money. So, really? That, was it. that, that was, might be the best thing you ever did is to quit playing golf. golf. Yeah, I mean, you know, now. I'm, did I'm it not, hurt you I'm, emotionally? Like, were you at a stage in your life where I, you thought, man, that really hurt? I'm, no, um, I'm not bitter or anything, but when hay prices go up, I think it's the biggest waste of pasture land in America. You're right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Golf courses. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. I mean, I, but the, we did play pretty good the other day. <laughs> Mm. Well, I played good for me. You played bad for you, but it averaged out okay. Yeah. We didn't lose any money. We didn't lose any money. And we won the last hole, so that helped. Yeah. We, um, it Sounds was like part five that we parred. It was, huh? Four of the five shots were mine. I'm not saying I know you're a better golfer than me. I will no. admit that. No, I completely agree. Yeah, we know that. Though. Yeah, we know that. Right. Everybody knows that. I completely right. agree. But that Everybody. day you were decent. That you're better than me. Yeah, I'm not better than you. Yeah. You are way yeah, better you than are. me. No, I'm not better than you. You <laughs> Don't oh, be y'all stupid! Are talking, y'all are talking about golf. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I got sidetracked. Don't be stupid. <laughs> you, are, you are way... But the last hole, we had 350 bucks ahead on the last hole. 350 bucks a piece. Par five. We parred it. For the, for the first four shots were mine. Well, did I make the putt or what? Yeah, but we didn't need it. Yeah. Or I would have made yeah, it. Yeah, but I made it, right? <clears throat> didn't I? Yeah, but I would have made it. Yeah, but if, it was about a 10-foot putt if we and needed I made it. it under pressure. No, I think it was about clutch. six foot. Because I least, chased it to within it six foot. It was at least 17-foot putt. Double yeah. breaker. Downhill. <laughs> It was pretty straightforward, six footer that I kind of chipped it within six feet. So you do anything for fun <laughs> other than golf? There we go. Now we that you the, you got you quit golf, they said you were no good. Yeah. Do you have any hobbies? Thanks, you got Joe. kids. You got I, I, kids. I feel so. like Joe's taking over yeah, yeah, more in this format. This is good. Yeah, oh yeah, I ride, we love. I, I mean, we love Joe. But I mean, that's all you do is ride. Yeah. I mean, you do anything ride. else? Yeah, riding kids and you no. Know, yeah. There's not much else you can do, you know, when you're trying to. What are your kids into? Riding horses. Are they? Well, <laughs> yeah. I've seen them on a few. Yeah, they have they... ponies. It's fun. You know, that's the great thing about owning their own place is, is they can just come out and just ride around. and ride and and I mean they had a little stick and they had their helmet and they were jumping their pony today. So right on. I was like, it, that's cool. It's, it's fun. Yeah, but yeah, no, not 
and busy just working taking on your care, place yeah, all the time. Taking care of the place and yeah, it's nonstop. And training on horses and I don't know what a vacation is. No. It's a vacation every day. Joe does. We, we get yeah. To, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Joe took one month yeah. of the no. last two months. That wasn't one months. month's been vacation. <laughs> really? It Joe was three went on, weeks. Three weeks. Wait, what about Mexico? That Joe went, went on vacation. vacation. It was two and a half weeks in Hawaii and then five days in Cancun. He, he went on vacation from December 5th to January 5th. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. No. When did, we, when did we go to Cancun? It wasn't after the 5th. But from Vancouver. From Vancouver. Cancun. <laughs> Vancouver. <laughs> didn't go to Vancouver. Yeah. I did not go to Vancouver. You want, you want, <laughs> another, well, you want to drink what I'm drinking? No. We went on like... <clears throat> it was after Christmas we went to Cancun. Right? What would you do during Christmas? Not shit. <laughs> <laughs> I did more than you. It's yeah. fair. Yeah. Can you say that word <laughs> on our publication? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I would just. Oh, okay. I, I mean, I'm gonna make oh, a mental. Got back I'm gonna make a, That's I'm gonna make a mental note that there were two words, two swear words said on this podcast. Gunny. It wasn't None gunny. of them were yours. Yeah. You've been great. Okay. Yeah. You've been great. I tried to tell him that this could be, you know, family show. Maybe he's mm-hmm. got a family. That's we all have families. Did you go for vacation this year at all? He doesn't know what a vacation is. He doesn't know what a Do do you listen? Yeah. Just just go see family down south. His vacation was sitting on his mower, reminiscing about the (laughs) top of the summers. Yeah, but it's zero turn now, so it's like yeah, a, yeah, it's, it's a, a lot nicer. Yeah. It's nicer. Yeah. Yeah. No, zero turn, that's a step up. When you can get your own zero turn, that's a big deal. It is a big deal. Yeah. I remember. I bought a Kubota, big and diesel. Nice. Yeah, no, that makes mowing a lot easier. Oh, yeah. Lot and easier. I never, ever mow the lawn. My dad had a lawn service when I was growing up. We did not have zero-turn mowers. Yeah. That sucked. He had a Joe. Yeah. <laughs> it was a push It was a push mower. He yeah. had a Joe yeah. mower. Yeah. Mowed lawns. Okay, it was, a, yeah. it was a little kid named Five Joe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what I made. Five yeah. bucks an hour. Yeah, that's right. No, a push mower. <laughs> well, the <laughs> national minimum wage is supposed to be hard than that now, isn't it? Higher than five? <laughs> yes. Yes, I, I think, think so. Just yeah, a think seven twenty. It was higher than you five back then. You can go yeah. to Bucky's and make twenty bucks an hour. No, well, I thought it, I see. I go in there for gas and I go, man, twenty bucks an hour still to this day. Yeah. yeah. Paid think, vacation. I think I could be a manager of this store. <laughs> yeah. And then I realized, you know, I didn't go people to college. People skills. People skills. I didn't go to college. Yeah. yeah. My people skills yeah. suck. But they yeah. got the best mission statement by having the best bathrooms, cleanest bathrooms. I love their bathrooms. Yeah, you know I'm best. a clean, I am a freaking germaphobe. I love Bucky's oh, bathrooms. Well, that's bathroom. the thing. Incredible. Everybody's comfortable going to the bathroom there. That's yeah. why they make so much stinking money. No doubt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Plenty of room. You know. That's how we're going to finish this conversation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bathrooms at Bucky's. Bucky's. Check it out. They had a Bucky's in Madison, didn't they? You know? Oh, he grew up yeah. in Bucky's. It's one of the smaller Bucky's. Though. Oh, really? Yeah, Bucky's are bigger than One of the very first private owned It's company. still a big. Is it real? Yeah. Oh, privately no owned. One guy owns it. It's not public. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, no I kidding. did not know that. Is it his name Bucky? <laughs> it was. Bob, Bob Bucky? He had. Uh, Maybe it's hey, Buck. They all teased hey, him. Hey, yeah, hey, they all right. teased him when he was in high school because he had a couple of Buck teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how he. He said Either that I'll show or Bucky you Beaver. I don't Beaver. know. I know. <laughs> Okay, cool it, guys. <laughs> hey, he's an Aggie. He's Buck an Aggie. Beaver. Hey, he's an Aggie. <laughs> he's Buck an Aggie. Beaver. He's an Aggie. <laughs> hey, he was college educated. <laughs> hey, who's, who's laughing now? Because he, he makes fun He's doing pretty good. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, we're not. We're laughing with him. <laughs> yeah, we like his bathroom. Yeah, we get him a germaphobe, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who, doesn't been love, a who doesn't love a good corn nugget? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. I haven't had the corn nuggets, there. Well, you hey. haven't been to Bucky's, though. Anyway, Nathan. Thanks for coming. Thank y'all. Yeah, Thanks, appreciate man. it. We enjoyed it. We appreciate hearing your part of the story. Yeah. We're, yeah. we're going to have you back. We had a big time. Perfect. Yeah. Appreciate it. If, yeah, I man. mean, if you'll come back, I mean, we'll get in touch with your uh, agent and do and all I, that. Hey, people. Hey, hey. We're going to have you, a, All I need you is can 30 call minutes to get down here. Yeah. All I need. All right. We're going to have to raise a little bit of money, you know, again, to get him back yeah, on the yeah, show. Yeah, you sure. know, one of the, our higher paid guests. So. Yeah. yeah. All right. How much? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we talked to your publicist. Yeah. That. yeah. We always he said, to, he said not to talk to you. Yeah. yeah. You're, uh, you're, you're going to need to contact your publicist yeah. and, is that, is that and the agent. Uh, no, he, he said he'll call you. <laughs> he'll call you. Yeah. Uh, uh, and, right. and good luck. Thanks, good luck. everybody. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thanks for watching.